When you've got a big brass, you've got to penalise the major faults. So it goes. We have a spangle here. Again, a nice bird, but with wrecking and tail issues. Not tonight, Josephine. You're out. Another super blue. Again, tail issues. Mm. Not tonight. But on its day with a full tail. Mm. The results will be different. They are birds I would like to take home with me to mm. use in the breeding cage. But when you're judging at that event at that time, Unfortunately, they don't come up to the standard. Freshly eliminating, take a go. You haven't got any more birds in this section, Kevin. You've prepared with tomato ketchup for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hydrogen peroxide care, not hydrogen not care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another one there. Yeah. 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 I could get my own back <laughs> for saying one thing. <laughs> no? There ain't a grey sitting on the bottom of the cage, is there? <laughs> Up and show itself. It 
it tends to sulk a bit, for the one for a better description. It's a nice solid bird, but it doesn't have the head quality that really inspires you as a judge to push it up any further. It sits up to a nice width of base, but the overall depth of mask and balance of bird from the mask up in comparison to the body down is a bit on the short side for me, so unfortunately it's out. So we are down to one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. This is where you coming into uh, back a bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ei For a depth of mask, width of head. You're looking for a, a reasonable size faced bird that carries the shoulder through to the body and down. Now, what you've got for these three are different characters of that. The best potential showman when he's settled and relaxes is his grey green. But tonight he's not what you would call show prepared, but at the same time he's a nice bird. What you're then looking for is something to go up the top end as your sort of marker to base the rest against to compare. Now, at the moment, I'll be honest with you, there's probably three birds here that I'm quite excited by, but each of them has got individual little problems. As far as the hens go, the best show bird, in my opinion, taking into account that he's still a youngster.
got the three hens there. The green has got the size. The cinnamon has got the cone chip. And he's in slightly better feather, feather condition tonight. And therefore, beats the two. So, for me, <coughs> keep in the first three. But, um, You've got that dilemma. One bird is in show, <coughs> show preparation, the other one hasn't. The one that hasn't is slightly the best bird. Now, your dilemma is how far do you penalise the fact that it hasn't been prepared properly and give the advantage to the bird that has had time and effort spent. Now, the BS guidelines say condition is essential, preparation is essential. So as a judge, it's difficult to push that up too far. But at the same time, you've also got to recognise within the point score that's allocated, and it does excel in other features and it does deserve to be somewhere up the tree. And this is what one of the judges' nightmares is all about. The other bird that also falls into that bracket. Come on. It's the cinnamon sky. He's got what I would call a nice top to it. The feathering over the eye doesn't fall away. It comes out over the eye and stops and blows. But he's not, he's not as relaxed and blowing over the top as I would like. But at the same time, the width of head and the width of face is better than the dark green, which is your ideal show belt, along with the light green you've got there. So, do you push that style of bird up, or do you push slightly heavier feathered birds up? Now, there's nothing here that is absolutely in tip-top show condition tonight. So you've got to start making a bit more emphasis on size, shape, balance and deportment, leaving the condition aside just slightly. Now, of the two, the green, light green and the dark green. The balance, I like the light green, but for the size, you're looking at the dark green. In proportion, the light green is slightly better, but it doesn't have that feature that says, look at me. It's on the It just lacks a bit of thickness through the shoulder and through the chest to really sort of say, look, we'll I'm here. Which, unfortunately for me, isn't in the first 79. 
he's of a similar style to the five that I disregarded earlier. Now, <coughs> you have a golden face, double factor spangle. How do you judge something like that and the style of that against the normal? Well, the answer is you go by your size, shape, balance, and deportment and condition, and you have to leave it at that because the only thing that you can penalise golden face and yellow face for is the running, the colour running through the body. Whilst it's permissible with, or with the golden face, the yellow face it should technically cut off at the throat. But we all know through having bred them that it's difficult to obtain that. So you're looking at a bird that's when it sits and shows at you, you've got a nice frontal eyes, a little bit of directional feathering over the eye. It sits up at a reasonable angle. Unfortunately, when you're getting down to nitpicking, that sort of thing has to be taken into account. Although, as you can see, when you sit back and chose, he's one of the best birds here. But again, condition and presentation at that time is essential. So, unfortunately, 